Hello everyone, my name is Sam, aka Complete Freedom. In this video series, I will be reviewing the commercial ACS for airplane single engine land and breaking down each area of operation task by task. The goal of this series is to provide short videos reviewing each task so that anyone who may be struggling with a particular task can quickly find that video and learn where to look for answers for the task. If you find this video helpful and would like to see more content like this, Leave a like on this video and consider subscribing. In today's video, we'll continue our review of CA.1.A.K1, which covers recent flight experience. The aeronautical experience required for the commercial pilot uh, certificate, according to FAR 61.129, for an airplane single engine land rating, you must have at least 250 hours of flight time as a pilot that consists of 100 hours in a powered aircraft, of which 50 hours must be in airplanes, 100 hours of piloting command time, which includes at least 50 hours in airplanes, and 50 hours in cross-country flight, of which at least 10 hours must be in airplanes. You must also have 20 hours of training in the areas of operation listed in 61.127b1 of this part that includes at least 10 hours of instrument training using a view-limiting device that includes attitude instrument flying, partial panel skills, recovery from unusual flight attitudes, and intercepting and tracking navigational systems. Five hours of the 10 hours required on instrument training must be in single engine airplane. I'd like to take this time to quickly point out that there's a lot of confusion surrounding what actually qualifies as instrument training time toward your commercial pilot certificate. In a legal interpretation, the FAA was initially asked whether an individual may simultaneously satisfy the five hour training requirements under 14 CFR 61.129C3I by obtaining an instrument rating or training for an instrument rating pursuant to 6165E, which is the instrument training for the instrument rating. In a legal interpretation of Mr. Richard Therault, dated October 8, 2010, the FAA stated that an instrument rating or training would not satisfy FAR 61.129. The FAA highlighted that the training conducted pursuant to these two paragraphs are not invariably equivalent because 61.129 contains specific training criteria not found in 6165E. In two subsequent letters, the FAA fleshed out its response to the initial question. In a second letter to Mr. Therrell, dated July 6, 2011, the FAA explained that while training can and may meet the requirements of both paragraphs, Simply holding an instrument rating or having completed training for an instrument rating cannot be automatically assumed to meet the training requirements under 61.129. Accordingly, an individual could log time performing the activities that meet the requirements of 61.65 and those same activities might fail to satisfy all or some of the requirements of 61.129. For example, the instrument training for 61.65E may not have included specific instrument training on recovery from unusual attitudes as required by 61.129. However, to allow for training time to account towards both 61.65 and 61.129 in cases where it meets the requirements of both, as stated in the letter to Ms. Christine Hartzell dated 20, December 17, 2010, that time must be logged consistent with 61.51 and documented in a manner that demonstrates that the time counts toward the commercial pilot certificate and ratings. The FAA went on to summarize that if training conducted pursuant to 61.65 meets the requirements of 61.129, that time can count toward the five hour of instrument aeronautical experience under 61.129. However, pursuant to 61.51, that time also must be logged as prescribed allowing for verification by the FAA. You'll also need 10 hours of training in a complex airplane, a turbine-powered airplane, or a technically advanced airplane, or TAA, that meets the requirements of paragraph J of this section, or any combination thereof. So you don't need all 10 hours in a complex airplane, or all 10 in a TAA. It's any combination of uh, any of these three. You must also perform one two-hour cross-country flight in a single-engine airplane in daytime conditions that consists of a total straight-line distance of more than 100 nautical miles from the original point of departure. In a similar fashion, you must also have one two-hour cross-country flight in a single-engine airplane in nighttime conditions that consists of a total straight-line distance of more than 100 nautical miles from the original point of departure, and you must also conduct three hours 
in a single engine airplane with an authorized instructor in preparation for the practical test within the preceding two calendar months from the month of the test. You must also perform 10 hours of solo flight time in a single engine airplane or 10 hours of flight time performing the duties of piloting command in a single engine airplane with an authorized instructor on board on the areas of operation listed under 61.127B1 that include 1. Cross-country flight of not less than 300 nautical miles total distance with landings at a minimum of 3 points, one of which must be a straight line distance of at least 250 nautical miles from the original departure point. The 300 nautical miles is waived if you live in Hawaii and is reduced to 150 nautical miles. You must also have 5 hours in night VFR conditions with 10 takeoffs and 10 landings, with each landing involving a flight in the traffic pattern at an airport with an operating control tower. I have found it useful to have a checklist to check off each item as you complete it. I have included this checklist here for your review. If you need to, please pause this video and copy it down or take a screenshot. In this video, we covered the aeronautical experience required to obtain your commercial pilot certificate. In the next video, we will complete task element K1 and discuss the records you will be required to show to the designated pilot examiner on the day of your check ride. If you found this information useful, please like the video and leave a comment below. Also, subscribe to the channel and share this video with anyone who may find this content useful. Thank you for watching.